Diamonds in the Rough. NFL Draft Diamonds. Time to shine. Hi, my name is Jimmy Williams with NFL Draft Diamonds, and today I have with me Carson Wells. Uh, He's a linebacker, uh, edge rusher, whatever the heck you want to call him. He's a fantastic football player out of Colorado, so uh, nice to have you on, buddy. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. So, yeah, like I said, I mean, um, a pretty big guy out there. I mean, at least per my notes, I got you at about 6'4", 250 pounds, so... Um, I don't know what kind of a player that we have with that, except for one big menacing looking guy. So um, talk first about, uh, you know, the backdrop of you as an athlete, like where you're from and all that. So uh, hit me with that. So I'm from a little town called Lake Penasofke, Florida. Um, we didn't even get a red light until I went to college. That's uh, it's probably like 2,000 people maybe. Um, I went to high school at South Sumter High School. Um, my graduating class was probably like 250. Uh, I was a valedictorian actually in high school. So then to go to Colorado, it was coach Levitt that recruited me. So he was the defense coordinator at CU in like 2015 and 16. And then, so he started recruiting me as a sophomore and then I took a visit to Colorado and just fell in love with it. Um, he, he originally started recruiting me cause he started the program at South Florida. So he recruited a couple of people from my high school to go down there, uh, like Ben Moffitt, like a couple of All-Americans. So he already knew my high school coach uh, pretty well, had that relationship. And that's what opened that door for me. And then I've been at Colorado for the last five years and enjoyed every minute of it. Yeah, so I mean, um, I do find it kind of interesting, like you had shared, I mean, being the valedictorian of your uh, senior class there in high school. So uh, obviously looking at a very smart guy who um, probably had your pick of the litter, really, if you think about it as to, you know, maybe where you would have ended up. So uh, based on uh, things like your size, your athleticism, and certainly your academic, uh, you know, standing. So uh, definitely kind of interesting there. So obviously found yourself there at Colorado. So uh, what what makes Colorado uh, so special to you? Um, is it the campus, the people, the classes? What What, what makes it special to you? Uh, I feel like it's it's just the place, like the the flat irons in the background. I'm somebody that likes to be outside to like kind of like reset and decompress. So for me, that was a perfect environment. Get out! I got a dog, so I was out. I was outside hiking. I was with him all the time, and I, it was just a great place to be. Um, it's a great college town. Um, they show up to pretty much every, even when we were losing, like towards the end of the season, if we we're having a bad year, it'd still be. 40, 50,000 people in the stands sold out game. Um, it was it was just a great time. The school, school's great too. I started out as an engineering major. And then my redshirt year, I was putting in like 13 hours a week in study hall. I was like, if I like want to take football serious moving forward, I'm not going to be able to put this much time into both things. So I, uh, I went to the business school and changed my major to finance. That's okay, man. I mean, I, I understand like uh... – you know, fo- football is going to take a lot of uh, time and effort, and you know, uh, you got to leave a little time for you to uh, rest somewhere yeah. in between. So I completely get it. Um, I want to kind of talk about you, like uh, as an athlete, like over the years. I mean, um, even j- just kind of going back to you uh, playing in high school. Um, uh, w- tell me a little bit about maybe where you have played, what you have played um, there in football or any other sport. Yeah, I grew up playing. I started playing football in like third grade, played all the way up. Uh, I played baseball growing up until 10th grade. And then uh, I quit baseball and started running track at that time. I ran the 100, four by one, um, and threw shot put and discus. And then uh, I started playing basketball too. Started playing basketball in like sixth grade. So I pretty much, I played everything really. And then in football, in high school, I played punter. I was a punter, uh, played running back. We went to a couple of seven-on-seven tournaments. I even played, like, free safety, like, some wide receiver there. I was all over the place. 
So, I mean, you sit there, you talk about, like, maybe some of the uh, other sports that you've uh, played, baseball, basketball, track. I mean, a fairly rounded, uh, well-rounded athlete uh, that could play, uh, you know, some other sports. But um, as I had mentioned from the top, I mean, we get, we get a guy who is a, a pretty big dude. So, I mean, I don't necessarily see you as a punter per se, but, um, uh, dude, you're a, you're a linebacker. You're you're an enforcer. Um Talk to me about you as a prospect, man. Where are you lining up like typically? Where do you see yourself uh, projecting to the next level too? I feel I feel like that's what I bring is a versatility role. Like I feel like you can plug in, play in pretty much any uh, any spot there at the linebacker role. Um, this past season we were more vanilla, so I just kind of I just lined up and played edge. But in 2019 and 2020 we had our, we had different defense coordinators, so we were like more pressure oriented. So I'd be lining up all over the place. I'd line up in like a gap, line up as a off the ball linebacker, line up on the edge. Like I was, they were moving around more. And I feel like uh, if you go back and watch 2019, 2020, show more, show more of those different roles that I'm able to do. So suffice it to say, um, you know, at least per my board, I have you as an edge rusher. Um, but really what I mean by that is I feel like you're – dude, you're an edge rusher like in a 3-4 scheme, at least mm -hmm. at least from my perspective. So I think a lot of teams may want to project you as such, you know, um, there on the outside. But, like, as you had mentioned, I mean, um, even if I want to move you around a little bit within that 3-4 scheme, maybe even pull you in a little bit uh, as, as a middle linebacker, I mean, certainly a guy that can – you know, uh, again, like you said, I mean, uh, you're versatile enough to do that. So uh, kind of nice, I think. So, um, dude, I, I have you uh, on my board uh, as a, you know, as a draftable player, you know, as a guy who I feel um, is going to hear his name called at some point, uh, you know, on this draft. I mean, draft is rapidly approaching, man. So um, what do you uh, – how does it feel to have that sort of um, – I don't know, uh, you know, to be in really just your situation as a person who's more than likely going to get your name called. Oh, man, it's been since our season ended early. We didn't go to a bowl game. So I came home. We played Utah on the Friday after Thanksgiving. And then I drove my truck home from Colorado, got home like December 3rd. And then, I mean, since then, just been training. I was training for the combine. I didn't get a combine invite. Um, and then just had to go to pro day and just show what I feel, what I could do to people that still weren't uh, believing in me. There were some scouts at pro day that thought I was going to run like a four, eight, four, eight, five. And then I ran like a mid four five. So, I mean, that right there, I feel like opened a lot of doors for me. Cause like you said, uh, like my body type role just fits into like a three, four role, but running a four five, like I can cover tight ends going down the field just be able to stay with him. So I feel like that opened up another door. It's like the four, three world. It was like a cover guy. Cause that's at the East West game. That's pretty much all I did the whole week was just cover uh, man on man on tight ends the whole week. I feel like that was a, just something that I didn't really do much at Colorado. Of, and that was a great, uh, great way to kind of show that to NFL teams and scouts. Gotcha. So you mentioned a whole bunch of stuff there that I was going to ask you questions on. So, I mean, uh, like you had mentioned, I mean, uh, probably one of the biggest snubs for the combine. Like, I, I really didn't understand, like, why they didn't, you know, uh, give you the opportunity to come out there. To me, like, that was just, I don't know, it's just kind of silly, I think. Um, but, I mean, like you said, I mean, um, you were able to go out there and prove to people at your uh, pro day that, um, yeah, man, like, they missed out. They missed out on a, on a, on a darn good player that could have really shined at the, at the combine. So, um, but let's back up a little bit. I mean, obviously, like, after everything was done for you this season, um, you end up getting that invite out to the uh, East-West Shrine Bowl. So um, uh, any other thing about that event that you want to share? I mean, um, how was, like, your, your time there, um, you know, in interacting with either the players or, or even, even some of the scouts there that you uh, had interviews with? Oh, man, it was a great week. Uh, I went out there and made some good friends with players. Uh, that I played against, like, whether in the Pac-12, like, just finally get to, like, sit down and just, like, have, have dinner with them or something and just talk about, like, what what you thought about playing against each other. Um, and then where I was training in Miami, like, six of us went out there. So I was already out there with a bunch of guys I knew. Uh, I was out there with Nate Lane and 
Nate Lamon, uh, my other teammate, the other linebacker on our team. So it was a, it was a fun week to getting to know them and just messing around with them. And coaches too, got to meet a lot of coaches, uh, learn a bunch of stuff from them, uh, meet, a, meet with a bunch of scouts and just kind of show what I could bring to the table for their team. Uh, I feel like I'm a smart guy. And like, once you sit down and put me on the board and like talk to me, I can really show that. And then it was the Shriners, like being around the children too, like just kind of put that into a, like perspective how like blessed we really are to be in that situation. So where were you training at, uh, you know, as you were, uh, I guess, preparing for this whole draft process? Like um, you said you were down in Florida somewhere? Yeah, I was in, uh, I was at Bomberitos in Fort Lauderdale. Cool. Um, so um, obviously they trained you up. They got you prepped to um, really go out there and shine at your pro day, like you had mentioned, uh, four, five, six, um, you know, which is a really stellar number, man. Like, um when I think about a guy of your size, you know, about 6'4", 250 pounds, I mean, running a 4'5", 6", I mean, um, dude, you beat out people um, that are really much smaller than you who would be, uh, you know, expected to run as such. I mean, a, a guy 250 running that, I mean, dude, there, there are guys that are 200 pounds and less um, that weren't able to, uh, you know, do that. So uh, talk about your pro day overall. I feel like it was a big, it was a big uh, stepping stone for me, because like I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of people that uh, didn't really think I was gonna run that. Came in there with like low expectations. And I feel like that was just the big question mark I had to answer was uh, my speed. I feel like I proved that. Uh, I tested pretty pretty well on everything else too. Vert, broad, the shuttles were good too. Now now we just wait. I, I showed what I could show. Yeah, man. Um, obviously, with a guy with that that kind of uh, talent, um, dude, you're gonna get hear your name called for sure. It's just a matter of when. So uh, it, it'll definitely be interesting as we, uh, you know, I guess pay attention to that draft. Uh, I guess next week now, because I mean, it's 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 coming. It's a rapidly approaching. So um, obviously, uh, a lot been going on for you lately. I know you're very busy with this whole draft stuff. So. Um, when we look at the span of everything that you've been able to do and accomplish uh, over your time there at Colorado, uh, what's going to stick out for you? I mean, what's like that one moment or, or game or something that will always stick with you? I feel like uh, on not on the football side, like the relationships that I made with the people, I feel like that's going to stick with me the most. And then on the football side, I feel like uh, I would say the pick six against Arizona this past season was just something that, it's, I mean, it's not everybody gets to score a touchdown on defense throughout their college career. I feel like that's something special. And uh, I should have had one in 2020, and the quarterback tackled me on the one-yard line. So I, I could I could almost taste it, but I didn't get it. I finally uh, I, I secured the bag this year. It's, it, it, that's got to suck, man, getting tackled by the quarterback. So um, by the that's quarterback, gonna, that's going to stick with you for a while. But, um, hey, man, obviously you're a guy who doesn't get that opportunity too often, but at least, you know, against Arizona, like you were able to really deliver, which is sweet. Um, and so, um, again, a lot of great moments. Um, you know, you've been at this for a while. You've had a lot of people pouring into you over the years, a lot of uh, great <clears throat> coaches, like you said. I mean, um uh, that you've had some uh, adjustments over the years, but um, I want you to just kind of look at like all of those people that have poured into you. You know, is there maybe a lesson that you learn from somebody that still sticks with you? You know, whether maybe from high school or like one of those position coaches or something like anything that you're willing to share. I mean, I feel like it takes a village to raise a kid. Like uh, my parents were great. Uh, my mom and dad really supported me through through high school, through college, through all of this. Um, coach Lawrence, my high school coach, uh, he was my defensive coordinator for the first three years and then my head coach for the last year. Um, I feel like he had a great deal with my growth, uh, teaching me at a young age, like what to do, what not to do. And then coach Sherman, he was the, he was the coach that had that relationship with coach Levitt. So I feel like without him, I would have never had that door opened to let me get to Colorado. Um, and then throughout my time at Colorado, I had a bunch of different coaches. We had like three different head coaches, um, like five different defenses, defense, like uh, coordinators, defensive schemes. And the one like constant I really had through the last three years was Coach Michaelowski, Brian Michaelowski. 
I feel like he was uh, the main key to my success over the last three years. I feel like we grew together. That was like his first uh, first coaching job at a power five. And I feel like we just grew off of each other and really like learned uh, learned a lot for both of our futures. Nice. Um, uh, just real quick, I mean, I know that there's a, a lot of great talent coming out of Colorado uh, this season, uh, but who's sticking around, man? Who does everybody need to know of that's going to be there for uh, the 20, you know, 22 season? I got a, I got a few names. I could list them all off, but I feel like Brendan Lewis is going to have a way better season this year. He's going to have some more poise and confidence back there in the pocket. Uh, Devin Grant, uh, he went off the last game against Utah. He had better stats than I did the last game. And like eight tackles, two TFLs, um, and Trevor Woods. Those are three names to watch. Cool, cool. And I'm sure there's more, uh, like you had oh, mentioned. Yeah. So um, uh, I, I do want to get a chance. Um, I want to meet this guy a little bit outside of football, you know, meet the Carson Wells. So um, uh, talk to me a little bit about yourself, uh, hobbies, interests, talents, passions, whatever you want to call it. Um, obviously a guy who uh, has got a life outside of the game a little bit. So um, uh, share with me something about you, if you don't mind. I mean, uh I grew up on a ranch, so that's where I'm at right now. I'm back home on my family's ranch uh, in Lake Penasofsky, Florida. Um, but not today. I was just I was putting in fence posts, uh, just a normal day out on the job, just working. Um, I said earlier I was valedictorian, and my agent called me yesterday and told me I had uh, the highest Wonderlic score in the draft. Really? So what was that? Did you, did it was like a 39. 39. Okay, sweet. I like that. Yeah. Um, so I feel like my my brains, I feel like, kind of boost me up a little bit. That's something that not a lot of people, especially not in, like, football have. Like, you kind of you kind of hit your head a few many times. <laughs> sure. And, so, go ahead. I uh, just play video games, too. I feel like I'd be the last one. Sure, sure. So, I mean, obviously a guy who's uh, outside working, blue-collar uh, sort of guy. So, um, obviously, we, you know, when you're not doing that, probably uh, – taking a load off in front of the TV, maybe watching, watching something or whatever. Like what's that one movie or TV show that uh, we like watching? Uh, probably the office. I rewatched the office probably like four or five times. All right. All right. All right. That's, uh, that sounds good. Um, favorite movie or movie. Favorite you know? movie. Yeah. Uh, I like Deadpool. I Deadpool. Like Deadpool. Okay, definitely interesting. I mean, uh, one of these guys here in the MCU. So, um, is there like one of these superheroes that perhaps like you would identify with or want to be? Um, uh, I was just like I was never really big on superheroes. Like I watched all the Marvel movies. Like I watched them all. Don't get me wrong. Um, I would say, I would say Thor. I like watching Thor. Okay, no, that's 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 fine. I'm, I mean, I'm excited I, for new Thor to come out. Hey, well, I mean, I'm excited for a lot of things that come out, man. Like this is a uh, like prime time for like really good movies. So, um, uh, definitely looking forward to to, uh, to getting out a little bit. So, oh, yeah. um, but I gotta wait until this draft is over with, man. Like, <laughs> I'm very busy right now. So, look, um, you're booked until next week. Yeah, pretty much. So, um, anything about yourself uh, else that you want to share? I mean, um, uh, uh, just kind of in general before we uh, wrap things up. Um. Uh, uh, hold on. Let me let me grab my little dog. I got a little corgi too. I fit, that's my that's my little friend. That's my best friend. This my this my little friend. This my best friend. Oh my goodness, dude. Um, what's your, what's the dog's name? Roomba. Named after the little. She's a little vacuum cleaner. She's everything off the floor. <laughs> nice. We all need a little Roomba for sure. So. Uh, <laughs> Love the uh, um, love to bring the, the the dog in the mix there. So I appreciate that. So um, hey, as we wrap things up, I mean, like I had mentioned, I know that there's got to be some scouts that you know uh, are very interested in you, maybe want to draft you. So um, I want you to uh, hit them with your pitch, man. Tell them why they need to take a chance on you, uh, draft you, and bring you a part uh, of their franchise. So uh, go ahead and hit them with your pitch. Yeah, I'm gonna be the I'm gonna be the hardest worker out there. I'm gonna be the first one in, last one to leave. Um, I feel like my versatility, like we touched on earlier, 
you can play me anywhere, play on special teams, all four special teams, and just come in and compete from day one. I mean, that's what I am at the end of the day, competitor. Hate to lose. Um, anything I do, you got you to gotta give it your best. And I feel like that's what you're getting with me. Well, I mean, uh, obviously we're getting a very smart, teachable person who's been in several different schemes and, you know, you've, you've moved around a little bit there, uh, you know, as a player. And again, I personally see you transitioning into like a, a three, four scheme, but definitely don't want to limit you to such because, I mean, you were able to go out there and, at your pro day and really dominate and show people that you can actually run and drop back into coverage and, and do very well. So, um, uh, man, I, again, I'll be honest with you. I feel like your your name will be called at some point during the draft. So, um, you have any uh, any draft day plans in general? Like, you you gonna um, be with your family or anywhere in general? I'll probably just be with my family. Like maybe uh, maybe cook some on the grill, uh, just something small. All right, so uh, barbecue at uh, the Wells uh, family uh, come draft day. So uh, I guess everybody be there. So. Um, do appreciate uh, your time and I uh, wish you best of luck in this process. All right, bud. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. Sure. Once again, Carson Wells, uh, outside linebacker for uh, Colorado. So uh, definitely uh, check him out.